Let's see if we can get Dharma the Fahaka to eat. She probably wants some pellets. She didn't see that one, huh? There we go. There we go. Unintended, she's got a little pillbox hat. Goodness, Josie. There we go. So pretty. I started out to do a minute or less to put on uh, Instagram, but she didn't need her pellets. Probably the camera. See, Nelson's burrowed under somewhere. Yeah, his breakfast is waiting on him there. Where she comes back. Yeah, get your pellets, girl. Um, I've about decided to take that big stump. It's kind of hard to see from all the glare. The roots to it are down there. This is the thing that took over a year to finally submerge. And it's too big, it would stick way out. It goes all the way up to there. It's like two and a half feet tall, maybe taller. But I'm thinking about pulling it out and cleaning it up and putting it on the, um, or in the 180. It's like a focal point for the um, South American cichlids. Thinking about it, she's going under the cave I made. But the reason being is uh, she's always like that and she sleeps behind it, but there are plenty of other things in here she can sleep behind. Um, she stays in this corner almost all day and that's so she can watch this boy. Yazi, Yazi. Is Dharma your watcher? Does she watch you? Um, but I think it would give her uh, easily another gallon and a half, if not two gallons of water. This is a 50 or a 55, I forget. And she really needs more, uh, could benefit from more room. I've gotten all the fish out of here because I had a couple disappear. Now they could have been the Poplo cats, but then one of the bitterlings turned up, um, cut in two, and so that wasn't the cats, that was her beak. Uh, I've got one other bitterling I can't, haven't caught yet, and it's over there, somewhere. Somewhere over there, I see its reflection, I guess. It's 
sorry for all these reflections. Um, so, yeah, if I can get that stump out and like these clay pots that have nothing in them. Here's one over there. Here's one here, but it's kind of supporting that, that cave, that rock. Uh, just just to give a little more swim room and then have the three larger fish in here. I had some snails, but of course she ate them all. Well, I guess we're not going to get to see Dharma eat after all this morning. And you guys have already eaten uh, hoarding uh, quarry cats in more than one tank. All right, guys, if you've watched this, I don't know why you did, <laughs> but, but thank you. And uh, Dharma did not cooperate. Sarah, she's smart. She lays over there so she can see what's going on in front of her tank directly. See, I see her face right there in the middle, kind of behind the pot. So she learned when she was little, when she was young, to use those reflections. Puffers are smart fish, especially for hawkers, so. And most of this stuff is going out to the tub. Thank God, I gotta get rid of a lot of this. It's just a pillowcase laying there. It needs to be put on the pillow. Uh, but yeah, most of this stuff's going out to the tub. I don't wanna put it in the pond, but the tub needs it. I could actually do that today, probably. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend, a good Easter.